Hey guys, how's it going? Happy Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah, it's Tuesday. Because uh, yesterday was a weird Monday. Anyway, it's a little dark in here. I just realized I don't have my shades up or my lights on, so you're going to have to kind of deal with this. But I think, do you think I can do it? This might be a very short video. Um, I just want to show you this. Do you see that bad boy? That's not 614, people. <laughs> I can't do it that way. It's 9, 9.15 and that's not the time. That is my calorie burn. I kicked ass this morning and I'm, I'm so excited, not only because it feels great and I'm a sweaty mess, well, you can't barely tell, but let's check out the wet ponytail. Um, I wanted to make a point. It, it, I almost wanted to say, not say that, because for me to actually say I want to make a point sounds kind of funny. Because um, I never, I make about 2,000 points in one video. Most of them incoherent, right? Anyway, so I went out for a run this morning. It's really humid. Uh, you can see the little. I probably should put some SPF on. Um, I'm getting back to it. I'm getting back to it. Anyway, I went for a run. Very sticky and humid out, but I kind of like running. Again, you guys know I'm all about the sweat. Um, so I went for a run. Um, I ran my probably, yeah, like. I went a little over because I took a little hill variation, but I did my typical, I think my route's about three and a half miles maybe, three miles. Now, I will give you this. I think that I just need to get myself back into running on a regular basis. One of the things I referred to in my last video is that this strange thing happens. I get a mile and a half or almost two miles out, which is kind of my halfway point, right? And I stop and then, you know, I kind of, Sometimes I'm over where there's a, a drinking fountain, so we'll get a, a drink of water, and then I'll turn around and come back. And it's always right about that time that I start to get these, like, stomach pains. And they're not, okay, the, probably the only thing that keeps me from running effectively when I'm on a run is side stitches. So cramping not from, like, having an upset stomach, but just because I'm not breathing correctly. That's always been my, my problem. Not my legs or my muscles or... My, my endurance ability, but more so <laughs> breathing right, because I breathe all up here instead of down here. Is that what they call diaphragm or whatever? Who knows? Um, anyway, so I seem to have this thing, and it did happen to me in Florida when I ran every single day in the morning. Um, I don't know what the deal is, but it's kind of like that feeling of like when you kind of have an upset stomach and you think you have to go to the bathroom, but you don't. <laughs> I don't know why I'm sharing this with you, but it's just this really odd thing and I kind of have to walk it out. And uh, it's it's happened to me like every single time I run. Boy, it's really dark in here, sorry. Um, I suppose I could turn on one light. Does that make a difference? Um, so anyway, I, I ran, <laughs> no pun intended, I ran into that today. Um, turned around, walked it out, then I felt fine, so I started running again. Um, I also included on this run and on my last run, um, 100 to 125 walking lunges. I think I did on my Sunday run, that's when I did 125. Today I think I did like 110. Um, and then I did some sprints, because here's the deal, this is my thing. Some of you might be going, what in the Sam Hill are you doing? I just like to mix things up and I like to surprise my body and I do what I like to do. So somebody, um, I know Joe Dowdell was yelling at me and he's like, why on earth would you do walking lunges when you're running? But, and he's the expert, I'm not. I'm not look at how much my nose got fried there today. Um, um, but I just, I'm doing what I like, okay? And I don't think that my body is going to revolt and gain 700 pounds because I did walking lunges or plyometrics one day on a day that maybe it should have been all cardio or all weights, okay? I'm doing what I like to do. And if it ends up not working, then someone can yell at me later and say, I told you so. So I did that and then I got home, took my little picture out front because I'm kind of having this fun little game with some of my Fitfluential ambassadors, my man ambassadors in particular, that are triathletes and they keep, every time I show my calorie burn, then they go on and they're like, hello, training for a triathlon. And they're like, oh yeah, I burned 2,700 calories today. I'm like, okay. 
So I'm really half joking, but that was partially why I was like, okay, really? I'll say your, I'll show you your, your 2,700 calories. I'll show you my 900, whatever. And I still have yoga to do tonight. I need to be careful because somebody will watch this video and all of a sudden I'll be accused of, you know, encouraging like eating disorders or um, crazy working out, whatever disorders there are. I'm not. It's just a fun little game. <laughs> Besides, I'm going to eat a massive amount of overnight oats, coffee, and potentially a second cup of oats after that. Um, but then again, on the other hand, let's go on the other, on the other side of the extremes, um, you know, Let's be realistic. You, you can't go and work out and work out hard, and then if you work out hard like that and do what I'm saying, which is I'm you know I'm being tongue in cheek. You if you if you have that mentality like oh I worked out really hard I can pig out no you know it depends on what your goals are. I'm still in a fat loss phase. I need to lose the probably I need to weigh myself this week. I haven't weighed myself in a couple weeks, um, but uh, I have like the last ten to go. Probably 10 to, who knows, 10 to 12. Um, so yeah, you know, I can't just go, oh, I had a killer workout, time to order pizza and burgers. No, I mean, I need to watch what I eat every day. I need to make sure I eat enough, but not too much. It's all the game, a fun game. But one of the other things that I thought about today when I was running, and then when I came home, because basically I went for the run, I did some sprints. Whew, I'm kind of stretching out my calves while we're talking. And yes, I feel like voguing right now. Um, I did the, um, I added in the, um, let me rewind. I'm going to get to only 10 minutes. I'm doing a 10 minute video today. When I got to my halfway point and, and I started to get the really bad stomach cramping, I could have stopped right then. I could have just walked home and, and I kept thinking about this, you know, some of the things that I see on Pinterest where they're like, you know, when it gets the hardest and you want to give up and just, you know, all of these mantras and sayings about, you know, you really got to push yourself and, and push beyond when you think you can't do it. It's all in your mind. And, you know, I'm going to this Tony Robbins seminar this weekend and a lot of that, I'm reading his book to kind of prepare myself to, for what to expect. But, you know, a lot of the chapter that I was reading last night is about, you know, getting your mind in the right mindset to get rid of the bad habits and, and get the good habits in, right? So I kept thinking on my run today, I'm like, you know what? Every time I come out here, I'm giving in to this idea of, oh, well, you know, at mile and a half, I get a stomach ache and I'm gonna have to walk home. No, I don't have to. So let's see if I can walk this out. So I walked it out and instead of walking it out really slow, I was doing like a, as much of a speed walk as I could without making the stomach pains worse. And guess what? In probably, I think I probably ended up walking half a mile, like a half a mile total. And then by that time, I was totally fine again. So no idea why I get this stomach cramping, but you know what, I'm gonna conquer it. So then I got through that and I get around to, I'm close to the area of my neighborhood. And I'm like, screw this, it's time to bring it on. So that's when I added some sprints. And what I do with, with sprinting is I get, you know, there's this measure of sidewalk. It's really like huge and it's in the shade. And there's an easy way for me to measure, like if I run from this spot to this spot. So I kind of stop there. I get my heart rate down to about like, this is, I didn't read this. It's just what I make up. I get my heart rate down to about 130. And then I sprint down to the end. And then I always check to see what my heart rate's up to. And it's usually I get it up to 160, 165. Then I walk back to the beginning, let my heart rate get back down to 135, and I do that four times. I think I did it three or four times. Um, and then I did my walking lunges, and let me tell you, I count in like groups of four. So I hit uh, 25, and then 25, and then 25, and I didn't even take a break. On Sunday, I was doing it in groups of 20, so I did 20, and then another 20, and then I had to stop. And then I did another 20, and then I had to stop. Today, I didn't stop at all. So see? It's always about how you can be better than the last time. And then these are these little victories that you can reward yourself with. But I kept going and going and going. And of course I was still thinking of Dutch and Chris from Polar and GNC Dave who just did his triathlon and all this stuff. And I'm like, I am not just gonna do 600 calories. So I'm like, you know what? My body wants to stop right now. My body wants to go have my overnight oats and my coffee. But there is no reason why I can't do more. And I'm not trying to be unhealthy. I'm just trying to kick ass. So I came in here, put my um, valet body workout in. I was gonna do back and biceps, but I think I'm gonna do back and biceps tomorrow. Because I'm gonna hit the gym for that. Um, so I decided to do legs and I put that ballet body thing in. Let me tell you something. That ballet body workout hits areas of my glutes and my legs that I've 
never hit before. I just, and, and I don't know about you guys, but when I'm doing some of them, I'll actually put my hand on my glutes so I can feel it, and I'm like, oh, water. Who thought of that? Putting, you know, your leg like this and the other one like this, and oh my God, it is killer. So, all I'm saying, here I am at 10 minutes. You said I couldn't do it, I did it. I kicked ass today every time I thought that I needed to stop. And let me tell you, mentally, my head was like, I've got work to do, I've got to do this, I've got to do this. Number one, I'm gonna get my work done. Number two, every time I thought, oh, I can't, I don't think I can go any further, I did it. I kept thinking when I got to the end of my run and I was kind of starting to slow down, I'd look up the street at the, blo at the block up ahead where I had to turn and I'm like, I don't think I can make it up there. Then I'm like, imagine the people that I hate watching me. That's what I think about. I need to answer this because it's probably a fun package. And that's what makes me go even faster. So all the people that hate you and that annoy you, just think of them when you can't push forward anymore and that'll make you go forward. So they just give you the fuel for your workout. It's pretty badass.